This past February, the David Lawrence Convention Center hosted the annual Pittsburgh International Auto Show, an event that brought auto enthusiasts of all types together for four days of happenings and horsepower. The long list of activities for the family included racing simulators, classic custom and concept car displays, the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix exhibit, miniature NASCAR racetrack, photo ops with celebrities including Steely McBeam and the Pirate Parrot, not to mention the exhibits from more than 35 manufacturers all under one roof. Open Throttle 360 had a chance to speak with John Poutier, the CEO of the Greater Pittsburgh Auto Dealers Association, the people who put the show together every year. We have over 35 brands, about 600 plus vehicles. There literally is everything you could buy, unless you're looking at something really unusual like a Bugatti or you know, the, high, the one of a kind kind of cars. But generally, if you're looking for a vehicle, this is the place to do it. It's carpeted. We're the only exhibit that carpets the entire convention center. This is a manufacturer's show, not a dealer's show. So we've got product specialists in every exhibit to talk about the vehicles and answer questions, but they're not selling you a car. So that's, that's it's a low pressure environment. We do exit surveys of the people who have been here, just ask them if they were buying a vehicle and when, and did the show influence their buying decision. And it's some interesting how many people think they want a certain vehicle and they come to the show and they change their mind. So it, it really is a good way for them to, to do some comparison shopping and pricing. We do see traffic at the stores after the auto show that does spike. Technology is really kind of the centerpiece right now because it is changing so rapidly. Three years ago, if you bought a car, it's, I won't say it's obsolete, but you'll say, wow, I like this new feature they just came out with, and it's just exponentially increasing on the technology, both the active and the passive features. And we're getting so much better fuel mileage out of internal combustion engines that some of the hybrids and the EVs aren't as compelling right now because of the entry price to get them, but generally speaking, the, the good old gas-powered engine is doing very well. The training required now to sell a vehicle, you have to really know your stuff. One of the biggest downsides, there's good news and bad news with all this new technology, but anything that requires the owner and the driver's interaction to operate it creates challenges and, and, and frustrations many times. And unfortunately, I can't figure out how to get out of this car. On delivery of the new vehicle, if that dealership doesn't do a good job of educating the consumer on how to operate that vehicle, they all get low customer satisfaction scores because the customer gets home and thinks it doesn't work, it's too complicated when they just weren't taught how to use it. You know, we suggest that dealerships have the customer come back a week or two after they bought the car and get reoriented to it because you don't know what you don't know. You know, until you've been frustrated with it, you don't know what to ask. And in the delivery day, you just want to get it home and shine it up and show it off. So you're not listening to the orientation. So it's, it's kind of a, a it's a catch-22. You really need to almost have them come back after they've already gotten frustrated. We've really ramped up the last couple of years on making this more than just a car show. We want it to be a family event. A lot of kids if you look around here. So we've got an NASCAR simulator, we've got the uh, Simzilla uh, simulator from Ford, which is really cool. We've got Hank the interactive robot, and every hour on the hour, he's comes to life and he literally can see you and talk to you and respond to you real time. Because of our sponsors, we've been able to do a lot more lately with Erie Insurance and the Rivers Casino. They are our big sponsors in the last couple of years. Uh, so we really try to make it interactive and fun and cheap. I mean, you can park at the Rivers Casino for free, you get a free shuttle bus, we've got half price Monday, you've got discount coupons for the uh, subway, from Groupon. So we really try to make it a, an easy place for the family to go. We're becoming a premier show. You know, there are different levels of auto shows. We will never compete with Detroit, LA, New York. We're not that big a market. But we're getting exhibits that we never used to get before because our attendance is going up and up and up. The large crowds at the 2013 Auto Show proved once again that the Pittsburgh market is fertile for auto manufacturers and auto enthusiasts alike and that the industry continues to deliver quality products to an eager audience.